Many Facebook accounts are being hacked in 2023. I spent the better part of yesterday, you know, talking and chatting with a Facebook support agent trying to regain back access to an account that was hacked. Uh, in the process, I realized there are some basic things that every Facebook user should know and these things will be able to help you to gain back access to your account even if the hacker, you know, locks you out and changes password of your Facebook account. If you're ready to hear something like that, come with me. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot and I'm so excited to have you on here today. Now, let's jump in quickly. I don't want to talk about those who are still using something like I love you as their password on Facebook and they are reusing one password on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google, everywhere. Man, you can't be using poor password or reusing password in 2023. If you're doing that, maybe you deserve to be hacked or something. Now, secondly, the second people I want to address is that it is not every time that you are unable to log into your Facebook means that you've been hacked. In fact, there are times that Facebook security can log you out of your Facebook. Maybe you logged in from a strange location or maybe you made a strange comment and all that. It can happen. Uh, so let's talk about Facebook support. If you're using a Facebook profile, like a Facebook account, there is no support for Facebook profile users. Facebook only have support for their business, uh, Facebook business, which involves you having a page, Facebook manager, ads accounts and all that. So those are the people that Facebook have dedicated support for. But if this video gets enough likes, uh, probably I'll do another video on how to easily reach out to Facebook support agents. And that's another reason why you have to click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to get that video when I do it. Now, here are five things you need to know if you're going to be able to regain your Facebook account. Even if the hacker has logged in, changed your name, changed your username, your primary email password and all that, you can still be able to get your Facebook back. Number one, sign into Facebook from a browser of your device and i advise you do this for both computer and on your smartphone now the problem is that a lot of people sign into facebook from their app and that's it oh i have facebook it stores the app the password and i don't need to remember my password this will cost you a big problem if you really want to restore access from a hacked account i'll talk more about this on number five so make sure you stick around to hear that important secret your primary email and phone number for your Facebook account should always be online. Uh, what I mean is that you should always have access to them or something you visit frequently. Now, also make sure in your settings, uh, security or notification, you turn on login notification to be sent to your, as SMS to your phone number. So what this happens is that if someone logs into your Facebook or have access to your Facebook, you'll be notified on time. And the earlier you know when somebody logs into your Facebook account, the, the better chances you have of retrieving your account back. If you don't act quick, the person will change your primary email, change your primary phone number, change uh, a lot of things that you probably won't even recognize your account again. Number three is your Facebook profile URL and it's also, it can also be called your username. Now, many people don't understand that facebook.com forward slash your username is your profile URL. And if you're on a browser and click on your profile, that is what you will see in the URL. But if you want to see your username, uh, which is uh, uh, in your settings, you just go to settings, go to account center and then click on the profile i want to see the username now from the profile click on the profile you select the profile you want and then click on username you will see your username uh, so with this if you're going to have the opportunity to reach out to facebook support what they will ask you is what is your profile uh, url or what is your username because without that it's probably will be difficult to even try to restore your facebook account number four the first Facebook URL that you must memorize. I mean, you have to know this one by heart. And I think, wait, I need to clear my head so we can memorize <laughs> properly. Okay, so I told you earlier that it's not every time that you cannot access your Facebook account means that you've been hacked. Yeah, there are several reasons that Facebook can suspect something and, you know, try to, you know, pull you out of the account so you can put in your password again and all that. So whenever you have problem logging to your account, the URL you must memorize is facebook.com forward slash login forward slash 
identify. So this will take you through some process. You know, you might send one time password to your registered email or phone number. It could ask you to identify some of your friends and who they are, you know, mix it up. You could do several things and then it will still give you access back to your account. It also gives you security check. Well, number five is the second and probably the most important Facebook URL that you ought to memorize. And it's very simple, facebook.com forward slash hacked. So keep this at the back of your mind, facebook.com forward slash hacked. And this one is actually for somebody who is sure that their Facebook account has been hacked. When it comes to facebook.com forward slash hacked, you see, there is a very special advantage uh, that you gain if you are trying to gain back access to your Facebook from a recognized device. Now, I earlier told you, you know, uh, in number one that I will explain this. You see, anytime you log into a Facebook account with a browser and the correct login, Facebook stores the device, the browser, stores the IP address, and then the region and location where it was logged in from. So if someone else tried to log in or take over your Facebook, you know, using any means, Facebook will also consider whether that device is a recognized device. So that's why it's important for some who are still using Facebook uh, in the app. And that's where all you know, you have not logged in Facebook into your app browser from your phone you've not logged into facebook into your laptop or pc this is where many people ignorantly give advantage to hackers so most hackers uses browser to hack people accounts so when they log in first before you to your own facebook account from a browser with your password facebook also gives a recognition to their device as a recognized device so now, if you have not logged in before and you're not trying to go and log in from another browser, Facebook will prompt to you that, well, this is not a recognized device. And that's where it's become a big problem. And you have to now try to reach out to Facebook business support and go through all the shenanigans, you know, to see whether you can get your account back, which probably won't be guaranteed. So if you have not done that, please do that now. Make sure you go out, log into Facebook from your phone, browser or from your laptop or pc browser so that if anything happens through that means you can be able to gain your facebook uh, account back in conclusion many people really don't know how upsetting your facebook account being hacked could be until they are hacked you know having helped a lot of people you know to regain back access uh, to the account uh, be it account or pages i can tell you that you can save yourself a whole lot of stress by right now going to your facebook changing your password to a better improved password and not just that you can also you know add extra layer of security by you know turning on two-factor authentication to your Facebook account. What that means is that we won't be even talking about all these things if you have a two-factor authentication uh, to your Facebook account. At least there's something that will hold the hacker, you know, while you, you know, maybe do some things, change your password, log out some devices and all that. If you want to see seven things you must do to make sure your Facebook account is not hacked, you can click here. Uh, click here if you want to really, really see how to set up two-factor authentication on your Facebook account. I've done a very important video about that. If you want to know how to delete a Facebook page, you can click here. And until I see you in the next video, peace and love.